minus one. It's getting colder. Oh man. Okay, good morning. Welcome back. Uh, I will open that later. Now, I don't think I will be camping in my tent anymore this trip. And I might not even exclude that I'm going into a nice hotel one day to have a little bit of downtime. Today is on the schedule the Nuffenen and the Simplon, or the Simplon and the Nuffen. Um, and after that I will just find a new accommodation. Hopefully have some luck with the weather again. I just walked out to go to the bathroom and it looked quite okay. So I hope it stays that way. But it is very cold. So I, ha I still haven't found my mid-season gloves. Eh. Okay, let's see if everything is tight and secure. This is already done. Now, let's see <laughs> where I'm gonna go down. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. I'm not sure if I want to start my morning with some dive down. Better safe than doing some ground research in the morning. Now one thing I really find hard with this bike is when I steer into one direction, like all the way, my arms are too short. So, uh... <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> nice guy. Owner. And it's a BMW... Um, uh, I don't know if it's like a campsite for BMW riders, but uh, motorcycles are very welcome. So guys, get out here. Okay, I need to fill up and then I'm going back up. Um, yeah, okay. Oh. That's why the camping owner said that it probably would be snowing. <laughs> hmm. Do I go? Or do I take the tunnel then? I am... Um... Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> it looks very, very dark up there. This is either gonna be very epic or just plain stupid. But, uh, I, I'm actually kind of curious now. So guys, I've shown you what it looked like yesterday, right? This is one night. Wow. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Sorry guys, I just have to stop because for this I definitely want to get my camera out and I'm gonna be in a snowstorm no matter what so might as well enjoy it. Oh, you see the truck there? <laughs> I bet it's either putting salt on the roads because I don't think there is that much snow that it needs blowing well maybe that is so cool oh I'm getting goosebumps and it's not from the cold it's wow man how many times do I get to see the pass is like this. Oh, look at all the sheep.
Not really good at making promises with myself. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I think I'm in for a treat on the top. Minus one. It's getting colder. Oh, man. Oof. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. The promise I made to myself was to not stop every 10 meters. But the lighting felt surreal and the beauty of the snow got to me. How many times do I end up in a snowstorm on a beautiful mountain like this? Wow. Okay, I have never seen it like this. This is crazy. I know how the road goes, but still. Yesterday it was nice and sunny and... Oh man. <laughs> this is crazy. What a difference a day makes, huh? Not even a day, just one night or maybe even a few hours. Okay, I think I uh, stopped enough. I cannot feel my hands anymore. <laughs> this is where all the other bikers were standing that were coming down with all the snow on it. Okay, down we go. Okay. Great corner, man. I'm making uh, some clouds in my helmet. Oh man, it's cold. It's minus four. 
and with my summer gloves. <laughs> that must be the joke of the day. Oh. <laughs> okay, minus three. Let's get down, <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> Know me by now. Of course, I stopped for another picture. On my way to Simplon. It doesn't get much warmer than 15, 16 degrees, so I think the next pass, looking at that mountain there, I think it uh, should be a cold day. Okay, nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I am gonna look for my gloves because my hands are saying nope. <laughs> we don't want it anymore. Uh. Oop. Nice. I already like it. Uh. So, success. Now, don't ask me why. Normally I have them in here, like extra gloves and my goggle. I found a nice bottle of water as well. So I have one extra liter. But my gloves were between my camping stuff. And not only that, it was in my tent bag. Like, why? I kid you not. I have no idea why I put it there, but most important, ah, I have them. So much better. Now I only need a long sleeve. <laughs> oh, I need to uh, start prepare for uh, colder weather. Oh wow, it sure looks nice already. I see the whole corner here is only these uh, kind of galleries. 2,000 meters, okay. Is this the top then? Nah. Really? Okay. I did not expect that. I'm looking for like a big simple pass sign. But <laughs> wow. Okay, it's nice, it's nice. But I also have to ride back to get to Nifinen. It looks like a fun little road over there. These colors are amazing. What could this be? It's some, some sort of hospice or like a hospital or... Bospis Niederalp. Then that should be it. I think I will uh, make my way back a little because I don't want to be at the accommodation for tonight too late. The road I spotted down below was closed for traffic, unfortunately. So I made my way back up to the summit. That is pretty. I'm still wondering where I can find the sign of the Simplon bus, but I don't know if Swiss really has like the big signs as uh, the other passes in France, for example. The colors are insane it's i don't think the gopro footage will do it justice but wow
Okay, well, yeah, this is it. Um. <laughs> so I still have a nice bit to go. My microphone is a little bit empty, so I'm gonna recharge that. I will uh, make my way up to Nufinen. And let's hope for good weather. Got some quick bites. I got my vignette as well. Um, I've never been checked, but I always just like the feeling that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it with the other. Batteries are charging, microphone is charged, I am a little bit recharged and I've got one hour and 20 minutes to go to the bottom of the Nufenen. My back is killing me, I don't know what it is, but... And then just not one position or angle on the bike is comfortable, but uh, yeah. We just gotta deal with it! This is such a nice bit. All the uh, very old here, see? Cool, huh? Second time up with good weather <laughs> and very quiet. That's also pretty nice. Wow, guys.
When I looked down on the screen of my drone controller and feeling the wind blow heavily next to my head, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. And this euphoric feeling came over me because nature has its way of humbling you and these mountains made me feel very small all of a sudden. And to me, that is magic. keep this bit of the Newfoundland Pass from you. It is just too stunning to not film. <laughs> Everything is failing! Carts are full, batteries are empty, empty. It's, uh, yeah. Let's try again, shall we? What is the issue? See, card is empty, battery is full. So, why are you shutting off? That's the question. That's well, good for me too, to get down quickly because uh, it's getting really cold and I still need to find a place to stay. Okay, you might be wondering why I'm sitting here with the window open. Um, it's because this one is not coming off. <laughs> now, I said I was cold but I'm not that cold. I am nice and warm actually now. Hence why I'm here in my t-shirt. So maybe I'll sleep with the window open and do my plugs in my ears. But I found a nice place, that's all that matters. Um, it's a good price again and uh, I am in uh, Airolo. About today, crazy. So I'm gonna keep it short because I'm shattered. Um, Maybe also because of the beer I just drank and the cold all day in your face. But I will see you tomorrow. Well, for me it's tomorrow, but for you it's maybe months later. So I will hope you... <laughs> so I hope to see you in the next episode. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it and I promise you tomorrow is going to be pretty epic as well. Um, all the passes here are amazing, but tomorrow is one of my all-time favorites here. Ever since I've ridden there for the first time on Tremola, I fell in love. And I hope you do too, in a way. On that side, that is where I'm going up tomorrow. So, um, yeah, in between here is the Gotthard and the old Gotthard Tramola, so uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, have a good night. I'm off. <laughs>